how are your boys? How old are they now? Uh, they're good, thank you. Um, they're six and three, and um, Ford and Finn. And uh, Ford seems like he might even uh, be like a little stunt man in training. I have like a video that I saw this uh, this morning. Are we going to show everybody yeah, let's show jumping it. off it of a diving goes with board? What we were watching. Um, but yeah, he's a big Jackie Chan fan, and uh, there wow. he Wow, fearless. Fearless. Yeah. <laughs> that's Ford? That's Ford. And is he four? He's the one that's he's six. He's six. He's six. And then Finn, his brother, who we call Me Too, because he copies Ford, right. uh, is three. Yeah. Yes. That's what my niece also does with, with her older sister. It's, it's always whatever they do, uh, right? It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, anything Ford says is just, like, the funniest thing ever, and I can make a joke, and it's like crickets. <laughs> it's like nothing from well, those guys. Unless Ford laughs. And then unless laugh. Ford laughs, yeah. and then, right. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and are they similar to you, or in... I, I think maybe. I mean, sometimes it feels more like that I'm already sort of seeing how they're going to be as teenagers, where they're going to sort of be ganging up on me. We went to um, Sequoia National Park, and they have the biggest tree in the world. I'm like, guys, this is the biggest tree in the world. And Ford's like, I've seen bigger. <laughs> and I'm like, well, no, Ford. Actually, you haven't seen bigger. This is, this is the General Sherman tree. This is the biggest tree. And he's like... If you say so. And I'm like, no, it's not if I say so. There's the plaque right here. And he's like, I can't read. And I'm like... <laughs> he says, I can't read? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he really Fake is... news for him. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Are you a strict parent? Um, I'm, you know, I guess I'm, you know, sort of... Uh, I mean, I'm not as easygoing as my parents were. I mean, but that's, no one's as easygoing as parents in the 70s where there was like, <laughs> you know, my parents, there was no seat belts and stuff. I don't even think they wore seat belts like back then. My mom would just kind of put her arm out and right. be riding, <laughs> standing up in the front right. seat. <laughs> right. And now you wouldn't dream of going any place without your car seats and all roped in. And, uh, but yeah, it was just a different time with no sunscreens and, bike helmets, and my parents would drop us off at the pool in the morning and pick you up at the end of the day, and you'd just be burnt like a lobster. And they'd be like, oh, you've got great color. You look so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. It's, and, but you, it seems like you're not that, like, I mean, Ford is, is jumping off and just, you know, doing a belly belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he sort of, um, he, he kind of charges. And Finn does, too. They do these sort of little dance-offs that are... They're not so much dancing, it's more like parkour. It's more just them kind of hurling themselves around and doing flips and hitting each other with pillows, but... Uh, Have they been hurt yet? Has anyone been seriously hurt? Uh, Ford got some stitches. He, uh, he took a spill at the park where he kind of banged his head, but um, nothing like me and my brothers, where it was like always trips to the doctor and stitches. And um, there was even something with Luke where Luke and my parents still have the x-rays of this when he was like a little, like maybe like two, where he like ate some change. In the x-rays, you see like a dime, oh a nickel, God. and a penny. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. that's horrible yeah. <laughs> to eat change. Uh, but your, your kids must know that you're, you know, uh, in car. They see the movies you're in, not all the movies you're in, but they must see that, and now you're doing Cars 3, and they must yeah. think that's cool. I do, yeah, I think they do, they, they get excited. I do get some street cred with, uh, with their classmates yeah. and stuff, although you'll still have a classmate. Oh, I thought Lightning McQueen would be taller. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> But, uh, Do you like doing those? Because obviously this is the third one. You must like it. Yeah, I love doing it. Yeah. I think it's really... I think it's... Um, I like being a part of... Well, Pixar is a great place to work and, um, and doing... But it can be, you know, it, it's... You know, you know, it's not... It's not uh, I don't want to say we're like you know, going to the coal mines, but it's, you're, you're working in there, yeah. right? It's, well, it's kind of, it's hard to get the, exactly the feeling out with just your voice. You don't have... You don't have other actors in there, and it's more like little kid kind of make-believe, because you're just having to kind of imagine right. stuff. And sometimes the sound guys can be kind of a tough audience, so... Oh, really? Uh, yeah. You find yourself sort of 
tap dancing like Fred Astaire trying to get a <laughs> smile from these guys. From Doc, is Doc your sound, is your <laughs> engineer? Yeah. yeah. Um, so what, what is this one about? This one is um, Lightning McQueen is, he's, he's still winning, but there's some young racers that are uh, breathing down his neck and uh, he's really, his, his position at the top is really threatened. And so, um, yeah, it's kind of art imitates life a little bit. <laughs> uh, but um, I have a new trainer, uh, this Cruz Ramirez car, that's kind of trying to get me to sort of, so I can compete with these, um, with these young racers.